Hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe. Yeah, today we're back with some more Mass Effect Andromeda. Alright, oh sorry guys, I was choking my own spit. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today, we need to get 40% viability to have an outpost on planet Elodin. But I think the big thing that we're gonna do is activate the monoliths, which could take quite a bit of time because the only problem that we have is the monoliths are so far away from each other. Well, where is... I'm trying to... Heat levels increasing. Here we go. Try to get it up on the map. Think Kes lied to you? Nah, she's not the type. I'm pretty sure none of us really knew what we were getting into. Bamboozled. Nice Bamboozled. Word. Yeah, I learned it from Sid. She's into some weird... Let's make sure we're heading the right way. Nope. Old human shit. Good name for a drink. The Bamboozler. That actually looks like a right there. Or at least part of it. Don't need to boost. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Oh, that's good. We're already within the parameters. Oh. Okay. We're already within the parameters. All we really need to do is start scanning for the glitz. All right. Make this dust bowl livable. Monolith number one. pictures wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner all right let's see what we can dig up are you freaking sure man guess we'll have to scan for the rest of these Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, that's leading up that way. Alright, let's go ahead and run around this direction. Ah, okay. I think we're gonna have to... Let's actually try going this way first. Yeah, this way. So this should end. Oh, here we go. Now, where's the third one? We got one here. No. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There it is. Can I reach it from here? I don't think I can. I might have to go down and around. like ah okay wasn't where there was a second console right there all right well that helps I thought I was gonna have to like jump all the way across that 
That should do it. All right, got what we needed. All right. <gasps> That's one. All right, let's head back to the Nomad. And now we're gonna have to make a long trek to the other one. Ow, 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 and ow. Um. Yeah, we gotta go over there. Alright, I think the best way across is to go this way. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Yeah, we gotta go west and we gotta go south. Ish. Okay, there it is on the map. I'm hoping to find at least a, um, what do you call it? A drop point. Whatever the other name is called. Board station. Might not survive the heat, though. So my Nomad is, like, almost unreasonably weak. It's, like, really hard to find really a safe spot out here in the desert. But I feel... Once we get the monoliths activated, and if we're lucky enough to find the vault, we could at least not take any damage from the heat being out here, with or without the Nomad. We are... Ugh. You know what? I don't think this is a safe bet. I'm going to fast travel over here. And hope that the land on the other side of it is at least somewhat flatter. Because if I can do that... Okay. Nomad. That's not the Nomad. The Nomad is over here. Yep, so we want to go west. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. All right, here we go. Sid gets me so frustrated. I try to be firm. She pushes back. I lay down the law. She pushes some more. See, that's your problem. Kids need boundaries, sure. But they also want to know you're not the enemy. Our dad would not have agreed with you. Your dad sounds like a piece of work. Special ops, right? Yeah, something like that. He never went into details. Disappeared. Yeah. I know the type. People are learning a lot about each other. Wait, you see anything that looks like a monolith? Say it. Yep, I didn't want to say it. I was about to say the land's significantly flat, but 
Now we're going on an incline again. Okay, this looks like a monolith. Just dead ahead. Yeah, this is the stuff. This is the place. That was a late reaction. <laughs> yeah, once we get that 40% viability, we can start waking people up from Nexus, and we can get the Angara clan coming here as well, so we'll actually make this planet habitable. But I think we only have one planet that has an outpost that we've woken people up already, and we've been to, I think this is our fourth or fifth planet we visited. Yeah, so we still got quite a long ways to go. Oh, there's a draw point right up here. I'm gonna actually go ahead and activate it. That way I can replenish some of my health. Activating automated forward Here we deployment. go. Drop down, please. There we go. I acquired two My viability points. Are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Nomad the is ready to deploy. Is normal. Actually, can I call the Nomad? I should be able to call it. There we go, you... Sorry, excuse for a vehicle. Your kinetic diffuser on the left is gonna fail in a week, maybe two. You're guessing wrong. I just replaced that. Then you owe your supplier a punch. Had one fail during an airdrop. I know the signs now. Are we in a safe spot? Yes, we are. Godfinder, I detect a dip in temperature ahead. Uh oh. The scavengers have set a dune camp. We got some activity ahead too. Alright. Gotta find the glyphs. Scan for the rest of these. Okay, let's start up there. We'll go here first. Can this actually be accessible? Oh shoot. No, nope, I don't think it can. Uh all right, well I just noticed there's another terminal. Right? Here. Let's try this one. See what this does. Okay, that did this. What are you doing, man? Ah, oh, shoot. Um, well, that's not how that works. Alright, let's try this one. Go higher. Oh, okay. Maybe we can jump here, we can jump here. And hold on. Yeah, we've got that. And that one. Alright, can we actually make this jump? Oh! There's gotta be... I thought I saw it. Okay, there's another terminal right here. Okay, 
Okay, that takes that away. Oh, but hang on. Yeah, here we go. There's one. The second one is right there. Can I actually... Ah. Two, and then the third one's right across from it. I think that's enough. That should do it. All right, go ahead and activate it. Now we've got one left. To face accepted. Now the third one I noticed is significantly off the beaten path. It is way the frick up that way, so. What we're going to do is fast travel again, that way, all right, Nomad. We gotta go straight. Heat levels increasing. Oh, oh, oh. Ball in the sinkhole. That would be horrible. Lots of regret on the Nexus about you guys leaving. Most everyone realizes we're weaker without the Krogan backing us up. Had to happen. We're done being pushed around. Wasn't us doing the pushing. That was leadership's mistake. And the rest of you paid for it the way it always goes, kid. Yeah, Outlaw still... scrap, bound to be hostiles. Oh, I'm sure. Whoa! I can't imagine any vehicle though being able to drive on sand. Sea of Ataraxia, if I'm saying that right. Oh, good lord. Okay, um... Try to pick the flattest parts of the sand to go up. And just go for it. Actually, I do see the monolith right there, like we're right at it. We're just gonna go for it right now. What in the world? What is that? Okay, that's weird. That looked like that looks like friggin'. Jorman Yager from God of War. Except it's more metallic. Not as big, too. Alright, Monolith is within striking distance. Alright, come on, Ryder. You gotta run. You gotta run, man. You'll make it. You'll make it. mark is. It's tempting to grab, but I'm going to wait. Because I 
don't want to get accidentally get caught in something else. We should be hitting a safe zone very, very soon. Oh, get your gun ready. I don't know what that is. There we are. Safe condition. Oh yeah, we got some enemies over there. But I'm more focused on trying to get this done. Trying to make a planet habitable for everybody on the Nexus. Oh, boy. Oh, I gotta... We should look for more glyphs. Yeah, I gotta find the glyphs. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Of course you can get everything on the scanner, Scott. You do everything on the scanner. Gonna do this. Right, there's one right here. There's one right across. And the third one is. Where's the third one? I got one. Oh, it's over there. But that's accessible. Yeah, I can just jump down. And then go. Right up the ramp. Like so. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. Thank you, Sam. Alright, now puzzle time. I am not the best at these puzzles, so I may end up having to use a key. But let's just see how it goes. Okay, so far so good. Okay. to stay focused. Got it. Interface accepted. Investigate the vault's entrance. Ooh. How far away is the vault? It's actually right near where we just were. Okay, this is doable. Did not need to use the remnant key for it. That is awesome. We can uh, save that for another time. We need to get out of this heat zone. All right, well soon this heat is gonna be all behind us, hopefully need to do on our side. Are you for real? I can't even get up a small hill. Sometimes I wonder what Sid and I'd be like if we'd had a better home life. Maybe we wouldn't have grown up to be so difficult. Difficult's good, Fedra. You took what you had and made it yours. That's all any of us can hope for. <sighs> if only you'd raised us, old man. Haha, <laughs> you would have turned out so much worse. Uh, Maybe a better shot, though. Farm, but fair. Oh, 
right, all signs point over here. Yep, all the monoliths are active. Ooh, look at this. That looks like the planet's moon over there. That's pretty cool. It. The moon just disappeared. That is very, very bizarre. <laughs> and it reappeared, along with a second moon. And it disappeared again. <laughs> moon, make up your mind. Do you want to be seen or not? All right, this appears to be it. The entrance to the vault. Whoa. This is a nice little welcome that we're getting. Not conspicuous at all. Vault found the entrance. It just kind of gave itself away to me. Safe condition. All right. Here we go, guys. Get into the vault we go. Didn't have to fire a weapon so far. That's, that's real good. All right. Let's head to the gravity well. Go ahead and get deeper underground. the emergency power. Okay. Remnant vault. Let's get this place up and running. Alright. Emergency power is right behind us. Alright, go ahead and turn this on. Well, we turn the power on. You'll need to locate the console to activate the purification field, Pathfinder. Alright, well, as we all know, in past vaults we've been in, it's going to be a trip and a half. So we are going to have to really... There must be a trick to this. Let's give it a try. What the? Oh boy. sure that's not right. No, that's definitely not right. know there's a trick. Shoot.
Uh, alright, I guess. I guess we'll do this one first. Something this simple. Is there any other console, or are these it? Yeah, that. One. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Unless... Let's try this again. Let's try going the other way. These are active. I'm trying to get the first one active. Like, none of this is working, like, at all. No, this one's still not active. Nope. Wait, hold on. What if I do this one? No. And now the one on the left is... Oh, God. This is going to be frustrating. Okay. Okay, hold on. So... Turns that on. Alright, so all of these are on except the one in the middle. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Give me one second. I really messed up somewhere. I have no idea how to fix it. I 
I wish there was a way I could reset it, but I can't. I'm getting every single one except one, like somehow, somewhere. So I have no idea how to fix it. Back to square one again. I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna see if I use the gravity well and then go back in. Maybe it'll reset. Try this again. Okay, remnant vault. Let's get this place up and running. I'm like doing the same thing over and over again. It's not working. Okay, now they're all off. You know what? I don't think I should have done that. Hang on. Now what if I do this? No. Because that turns on all three of those. That turns on three of those. This actually might help now. Because now I can actually decipher what's going to turn on what. That's going to turn on all three of those on the right. Okay, that turns on those three. Now what about the one on the farthest left? That turned on those. I I I I I don't know how to do that one. Yeah, th this this is taking too long. We're we're gonna we're just gonna do something else. Yes, I'm I'm not getting anywhere, and I'm starting to get a little frustrated. Trying really hard. 
tried to activate it, it's literally not doing anything. So we're just gonna leave the vault. We'll have to come back another time. So I think what we're gonna do in the meantime, we do have... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, let's see. We got the flop house. How far away is that on the map? Not, well, not extremely close, but I think it's doable. All right. We got several tasks along the way, so we'll just fast travel over here. Flophouse. Let's take the Nomad. Made six new sounds getting out of bed this morning. Creaks and just things moving. You get that, Vetra? No, no, I don't get that. And I sure don't talk about it. Talk. I mean, we've been journeying on this planet for quite a while. And actually, the outlaws built some kind of tech. They'll be looking to defend it. I go. Automated forward station deployment. Here we go. Ourselves a forward station. Here we go. Viability is increased by two percent. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Thank you. All right, now we just got to get over here to the flop house. We got a couple of other side activities over here as well. And we went past that, but that's not really a priority at this time. Whoa, I ambient temperature almost took out what we just built. Ah. All right, here we go. We're going this way. Now, I'm sure that vault, once it's activated, is going to really, really make this planet a lot easier to travel. I was hoping to do that first. So it would be easier, but that dang puzzle in the beginning, I can't figure it out. So hopefully, later on down the line, figure out how to get in there. Alright, we're in a safe spot right now. Hopefully once we clear this out, our viability will actually be decent. Decent enough to get the outpost. Heat levels increasing. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Can we actually go in? Uh-oh. Get ready, guys. About this place. Better keep our heads down. You ever hear the saying, honor among thieves? Yeah. An honorable knife in the back is still a knife. Oh my god. Getting cover, getting cover. 
Joe! Disable the alarm before it attracts reinforcements, Pathfinder. Disable the alarm. Ah! Dead. Dead. Okay. Here we go. Let's try this again. Sam was saying disable the alarm. I did not see any alarm anywhere. Went from like two people to take down to suddenly nine. Heat levels increasing. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. All right. This place is a den of scum. Keep your eyes open. You ever hear the saying, honor among thieves? Yeah, but I don't believe everything I hear. Honoring up. Crap. They spot us already. Support restored. We need to get out of this heat zone. I detect above normal temperatures. Cover. Loading ammo. I gotta get that health like right now. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm aware of that. We need to get out of this heat. Ambient temperature is low. Rack, get out of the way. Life support is stable. That's not my shot. Center's way over there. What the heck? Why did it direct me down this way? Alright, we're getting out of here. We're going straight for the command center. We should not even be over here. 
Use the security console to disable the alarm. Unless this is the security console that they're referring to. It could be. I'm in the safe condition. Locked. They must have barricaded themselves in. What now? If we can find a security terminal, I may be able to attempt to bypass the locks remotely. Okay, so how am I gonna do that? are ours. I think this is one of our failed mining outposts. Drack, oh, why you keep getting in the way of my shot? But it's starting to get annoying. Try going in here. Did you see the Krogan scouting out that big remnant boat? What if they get the weapons or something? They could wipe us out. <sighs> They're never getting inside that thing. All right. It appears. Ow! <sighs> Shooting at me. So we like we keep getting bombarded. I think I found our way out. Looks like outlaws. Yeah, we gotta go up. We gotta go from here. We gotta go up. All the way up. Oh Jesus.
how how did these guys like multiply like this? This is insane. I'm doing everything I can to clear this out, and I'm not getting anywhere. I'm just like running in circles. Oh my god. Get over here. Are you kidding? Dead. I'm getting lit up so badly. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm dead. I'm dead. That took so freaking long, and I didn't even put a dent in this place. And now I gotta start all the way back in the beginning. Alright guys, I, do, I really hate to say this, but I this planet... This planet seems like it's a lost cause. Like, I literally... I can't... I'm trying to clear the flop house. That's not getting me anywhere. The vault... I can't figure out the puzzle. And... I have to do, like, several major things before I could even... lay an outpost here. So I may end up having to go back to the ship in the next episode and just move on with the main story, but... I'm hoping I can prove myself wrong, but so far it is looking like this is literally just a lost cause and I'm not getting anywhere. So, uh, on that note, guys, I'm going to actually go ahead and end the episode right here. So, thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda here in Gotham Lounge. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos, or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. So once again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda here in Gotham Lounge. And you guys have a fantastic day!